Hi everyone, I'm Annika and today's Friday so we're going to go over some questions from this week um, and just to kind of summarize really quick, um, I work for the outreach program um, through the College of Biological Sciences at the University of Minnesota um, and that's with researching contaminants of emerging concern um, and how those can affect the growth and development of zebrafish. So the first question is about um, where my research interests lie. Um, and so I just want to talk about that a little bit. So I think it's really, really cool to learn about how the chemicals that we use every day um, affect other organisms that we might not think about. Um, so as we all know, like there are tons of other organisms, tons of other animals and plants on the earth other than just us. And I think it's really important to know how what we do affects those other animals too, because they're here and they deserve a safe and clean place to live. And so I think that it's important to know um, how what we do every day might affect that. Um, and then there's a question about what is the favorite aspect of my work and what is the most challenging. And my favorite aspect by far is for sure getting to um, do an experiment from start to finish. So I really love asking questions about the world around me and I just think it's really cool as a scientist to be able to ask those questions, think about what might happen or why that happens, um, and then getting to actually plan an experiment on how you might test that and then run the experiment and collect data and then analyze the data and see what happened. Like, I just think it's really cool to be able to think of a question, plan on how to answer it, and then actually getting to answer it. And... Um, Part of what I really like with the outreach program is then getting to share those results with other people too and not just have it be something that maybe a lot of people don't know about or something that kind of just stays in the science community. I think it's really cool to branch out and share that with everybody because science is for everybody and it's really important that everyone knows about what we find. Um, and one of the most challenging um, parts of my work by far is technology um, and doing math. I'm not very um, skilled at using computers or figuring all of that stuff out, um, and that's just really challenging for me. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to do things, um, and also the math. Yeah. So it's difficult for me to sometimes figure out maybe if I need to make a solution or if I need to make any measurements. Sometimes it's hard for me to think about how much of something I might need to add. Um, so I've been very lucky to have a lot of helpful and patient mentors um, and coworkers and just people around me that are willing to help me when I need it because there have definitely been a lot of times where I need some help, um, which is true in any profession, but it's always good to ask for help when you need it. Um, and then there's a question about um, outside of what I do for science, what other subjects or interests motivate me um, or interest me. And so I really like to read. Um, I haven't really had a ton of time lately, especially with school starting up again, but um, I really like to read in general. Um, I've also been getting into painting, which is really fun. I really like it. Um, I'm just not very good. So sometimes I see a lot of cool art on social media or something and I'll be like oh I want to paint so I can do something like that and it's never even close but it's really fun to do it uh, and learn new things and do something that's not just staring at a computer screen or doing homework all the time um, and I also really like watching documentaries I know if anybody is looking for cool documentaries um, there's a lot on Netflix like about space um, and there's also some really cool ones on YouTube that I like about ancient civilizations which is really cool I love that stuff a lot and then the last question was about a fun fact that few people might guess about me. So I have two fun facts. One is that I can touch my nose with my tongue. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and then I also have two pet guinea pigs and one is named Nugget and she's brown and white. And then one is named Oreo and she is black and white. And we've had them for a little bit over a year. So they're still pretty young, but they're very cute and they have a lot of fun running around. Um, so thank you all for taking a look at all the content this week and sending in some questions. Um, I hope that you enjoyed everything.